you're tuning in to the Clever Edge Channel. Hey, what's up, guys? Scope with the Glam Rat Channel. I'm here with Harley Lethal Love. What's up, man? Hey, brother. So, uh, yeah, ha tonight uh, Harley makes his uh, professional boxing debut. No stranger to the fight game. He's got a big history in, in a, as a kickboxer, as a Muay Thai fighter. He comes from uh, City Liga. Yeah, brother. And uh, his trainers are Tony. Tony, Steve, Joey, and Jamie Irwin. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is the Glam Rat Channel. Did you want to. This is your. Uh, Basically, this uh, fight uh, press interview before you go out and do your thing. Do you want to say anything to all your supporters and that out there? Just uh, to my supporters, thank you guys for being there from thick and thin, and um, especially the whanau too, being there when I'm angry and you got to cut that weight. So, yeah, thank you to all my supporters and family. I must say as well, uh, Harley Love, is a, he's making his professional boxing debut tonight and he's taking on the number one middleweight ranked in New Zealand right now so uh, massive uh, respect to Harley, this is uh, not an easy fight as his pro debut but big ups man and uh, yeah I wish you all the best on your journey ahead in the boxing, Thanks, I know uh, you're, doing, you're doing well in your, your kickboxing and um, yeah is there anything else you'd like to say like uh, shout, out to, shout out to anyone? Uh, shout out to Humble Cuts, they always got me locked down, it's coming to fight time and uh, just my corner, Steve, uh, Tony, Joey and Jamie, yeah, thanks guys and uh, hope to see my interview on the Glad Rap channel. Yeah. So yeah, check it out on the Glad Rap channel, we will be up on Facebook and YouTube and yeah, this is your boy Scope, here with Harley Lethal. And yeah, wish you all the best, bro. It is sponsored by Auckland Marine Electrical. It is uh, scheduled for four three minute rounds of professional middleweight boxing action. Introducing first, making his way to the red corner, this is Harley Love. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing red, white, and blue trunks, weighing in at 72.5 kgs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Harley Lethal Love. 
And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, Edges are wearing black trunks with white trim, weighing in at 71.7 kgs. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ruben Webster! <laughs> Fighters to the center ring, please, for referee. Andrew Bell's instructions. Well, boys, have been your instructions in the dressing room. Remember to obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times, okay? Touch it up. We'll get it on. Let's go. Middleweight pro action. What do we got? Round Danger one. Zone, Harley Love versus Ruben Webster. Oh, great bout to start the pros off. Very, very good night thus far. You're joined with Junior Fai and Kendall Cooper. We are up to our professional fight of the night. Yep. Uh, Ruben Webster in the uh, blue corner and Harley Love. If you notice, uh, there's... Um, there's a kickboxer in there with the uh, kickboxing shorts from the red corner. Yeah, and he's taking it to him. So Ruben Webster in the south pole position. Ruben Webster in the blue corner versus uh, Harley Lover. I've seen uh, Harley fight before. He's a good, tough fighter. He's kickboxing background, and he's from Henderson High School. So it's awesome to show him on the night. Harley Lethal Love. So let's see how lethal he is taking it to uh, Ruben Webster. But, um, yeah, Ruben's not going anywhere. He's got that quality, and he's, yeah... Oh, beautiful, beautiful back step counters from um, from the southpaw, Ruben. Yeah, no, Ruben's the technician, so he's, he's working on it. And he's uh, a um, he's an upcoming pro. He's keeping himself uh, quite busy this year. He he just fought not too long ago as well. Like yeah, three no, weeks it was, ago. yeah, it was a couple of weeks ago, and he um, yeah got a win, got another win, so he's undefeated. I think this is his fourth pro fight, so he'd had about 26, 26 amateur fights. Oh, I think so. he just got caught coming in there got that quality probably just waking him up into it settling it in work each other out and yeah. uh, now we've got four four three minute rounds so good quality new zealand pro boxing yeah he just got caught going backwards yes there as well we yeah. did yes it's six straight straight right that comes straight through he's got his own to counter though but um yeah harley lethal lethal love he, he's he's here to fight so he, he's taking it forward both fighters in there definitely look like they know what they're doing. So yeah. you know they, we have Beth, uh, we we definitely have have been um, treated tonight. But you know now it's time for the professionals. Yeah. Nice, oh. nice, nice lead um, left hand from uh, from um, Ruben. Yeah, he was just testing it out. Just 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 scraped past. Didn't Great didn't connect time. cleanly, but um, good practice. And he's just gave, giving a, another go there. And um, oh, he snuck that one through. So now that he's working out his timing and uh, catching a lethal coming in. Yeah, timing coming in. I think the distance as well. Oh, he's finding some more success with that uh, backhand. Yeah, and that uppercut. So he's sneaking his way in. And uh, great show of talent for um, for the uh, two fighters down here. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Now this is a great middleweight bout came through about under around 72 kilos so 71 and um, yeah now they're taking it to each other so just just working out the ring having that quality ribbon's got some good movement i think there was a bit of a uh, kickboxing grapple just there yeah just <laughs> turn, turning him around so just using what you've learned yeah so they've been able to practice what they've done in the gym and now they're just showing off very very good um controlled round from uh, both fighters yeah i was also just thinking they've got some good people in their corners so isaac pete pointing out what to do and he's uh yeah really showing it in there giving him some advice yeah definitely uh, great great uh, tournament there whispering the secrets keeping that work rate out so it's just yeah a bit of pit pat pit a patter and um landing that quality so i'm guessing this will be another one of the same rounds of just taking it to him yeah pretty much you know there's um, uh this is our first professional fight of the night um the other fights that we did see they were quite intense this one's very much controlled you know yeah with that yeah, extra minute in the rounds and the extra round of the fight, you know, you definitely do have to pace yourself a bit more. Yep, got to take into account that saving that quality for the right points. 
and um, there's oh, still a few beautiful. swings. Beautiful back foot channel once again from Munruban. Oh. That was a yeah. good turn. There we go up into right. that other uh, <laughs> kickboxing grapple right there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just turn him and throw a knee. Caught him on the movement. Just yeah. got to clean his gloves and then carry on. So. Yeah, just showing a bit of ring dominance. Just, just, just showing that you know I'm here to fight, do what needs to be done. And uh, but Ruben's catching him with a couple of straight hands, so they're going right down the middle. He's trying to counter him a bit, yeah. catch him coming in. He's um he's quite a nice counter fighter. Yeah, yeah, Ruben. yeah, Ruben yeah no, definitely. So I think the whole grappling thing for Harley might actually be uh, quite good for him. Yeah, just Beat, messing um, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think that, if you if you basically got a nice tidy fighter in there, yep. rough him up. Yep. Yeah. Trying to take away his composure, yeah. mix it up, mess him up, and uh, focus on your own game plan. So, but yeah, no, Rib is not falling for any traps. He's uh, trying to catch him coming in, and he's yeah. still oh, getting that, that straight left right yeah. down the middle. Yep. And uh, Harley just keeps going forward, but that left starting that to work left for Rib. Yeah. Oh, beautiful uppercut region for the sky there from Harley. Just narrowly missed. He came forward with his own straight right. Yeah, I think he's reaching just a bit too oh, much, not it, getting his distance right. Yeah, he's actually switched oh, to southpaw. Moving. So yeah, they're moving in and out, out of positions. I think, I think, I think, uh, I think Ruben's starting to feel good in this round. You know, we're yeah. starting to, um, he's starting to be a bit front foot heavy now. Yeah, Second and forward uh, a bit. Yeah, Harley's mixing it there up by changing his southpaw. Working that body. Yep. I think that's what Har uh, I think that's what um, Ruben probably needs to do now. You know, change up the leads every now and then. Go down to the body. Yeah. I just thought that um, Harley was closing the gap by switching to southpaw and moving forward, but he's either he, he might be just rushing it, and um, Ruben's still composed to catching catching him coming in and uh, working on his own game plan. So just just comes back to that quality. That, natural boxer letting yeah. things fall into place he, he sees something he trusts it don't rush it great distance control from um reuben right yeah now. yeah oh, beautiful uppercut yeah he just evaded it and threw the uppercut it's just perfect timing beautiful jab there from reuben good 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 timing counter there yeah oh. evaded on the outside and then threw a right hand lead body shot yeah yeah just mixing it up just know there's, a, there's other points to dig away that start to take its toll in the later rounds. There's still round three and round four to go at uh, the two. danger zone. Yep. Oh, there it is, man. It, it definitely is dangerous in there. Yeah, 29th we of have. July, and it's all on Ellerslie Event Center. Danger zone event going off, full house. Full house out here, and the cold night in Auckland. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to practice some boxing, go along to uh, U Box. There's been some good, good gyms coming along tonight, showing their stuff, showing it, showing what they got. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Plenty of display of um, talent tonight. And now we're falling into round three, so it looks like uh, yeah, each fighter would have found a home for some of the utensils. Yeah, and it's just about mixing it up, practicing a few other things. They both look uh, comfortable and confident. Coming into the third round of this four-round fight, I will suspect both fighters will, will come in just a bit more, um, you know. A bit more composed or yeah, a, bit more, uh, a bit more quality? Like they're, they're holding, yeah, quality, I think. Sort of you know. yeah. Both we'll fighters will just, um, you know, start to... Uh, Start to uh, let the leather fly just a bit more now. Yeah. Got that orthodox southpaw gap, so they're going to work their way through, close the gap. Oh, pick, there we go. Some. Um, pick their moments. One thing from um, Ruben, he definitely likes to throw that left hand very long, you know? Yeah. Very, yeah, from, very long. from the outside straight yeah. through, but he's, he's just working on his timing and that's starting to fall into place tonight. So yeah. it's just uh, saving it up in every, every now and again. Nice different leads from my um, from man Ruben. Moving around, working on a hook. Nice little flurry there from both fighters. Uh, a bit flat footed now, both fighters, you know. Not, yeah. not, not too much 
strong movement right now. Yeah, good left hook from Harley Love. So not, I haven't seen uh, too many boxing fights of him. Oh, that was oh. a good shot. So he, he stepped, Harley he mixed it up. Harley found some success there. Yeah, it felt like that's what Triple G does. Sort of closes the gap, moves in, and he uh, had a left hook. But at the end of the day, there's only two punches. So it's whether it does that much damage yeah. or if he uh, can carry on doing it. But he's eating himself on to... Um, land a couple more punches yeah but oh, then he takes a straight left so oh, oh, man. oh both fighters fighting their success in this third round <laughs> yeah they're really showing each other that they're here to there fight so they've oh, both both boys started to tee off now yeah they their both hands go caught caught each other a couple of times yep you just got to keep composed with these uh, yeah, types of fights, you know. You yeah. don't want to get too excited and swing and miss. Yeah, and, and brush it and, and get know? messy. Just sort of keep that cleanliness here. Oh, both fighters. But they're, oh, they're, they're throwing. They're just stepping back a little bit, but they're just putting in that full effort and really exploding. Oh, so, yeah, nicely composed. And, uh, oh, you just see the head rock back. Yeah. Yep, definitely. And you just know that the judges would have seen that, but <laughs> how many times do they have to see it before they're going to give a round one way? Because at the end of the day, it's only a 10-9. It's only yep. one point difference. So someone has to get 10 points. Yeah. Someone has to get nine, unless uh, someone goes down for an eight count. Then exactly. it's a 10-8. But we haven't had any of those now. There hasn't been too many clean shots that have actually put them on their ass. They've both been taking some big shots with these 10 ounce gloves. <laughs> wow. Harley this, coming in strong yeah, now. This is awesome. Yeah. He's just, st he's a good, tough fighter from Henderson High School and he's just really Definitely. battling away. Definitely. I don't know if he had any Definitely school moving. fights, but he's showing oh, he's here to throw. Swing and a miss. Another five seconds to oh, go. Oh, nice. Bit of an nice uppercut. Movement. Was that like a left uppercut? He sort of caught him coming in. And, uh, yep, Ruben, the counter puncher, stepped back and was just missed out on throwing his own. That, oh. Yeah, I, th I think that round would be very hard to uh, to uh, score that yeah, round. Yeah, that was pretty even. They were both. They, they would have gone each way. Yeah, both uh, scoring well. A bit more intensity from the red, a bit more class from the blue. Yep. You know? Yeah, no, good way to describe it, Junior. So, oh. Awesome ringside viewing for uh, Kendall and Junior looking after Glad Rap Channel and uh, experiencing the um, Danger Zone event at Ellerslie Event Centre. So July 29, 2017, that's where it's at. Now both fighters in their corner getting some um, the, the last the last of it, eh? Yep, pretty much, you know. Last experience passed on. Focus on that quality. Do what needs to be done. Fourth and final round, you definitely have to finish this fight. Pass on that confidence. There we go. Just who's got what? We'll see if I'm Ruben can. Oh, he was caught. He caught. Oh, he got caught. He needed to catch him again. He just. Oh. Harley putting on the pressure now. He needs to catch him cleanly because otherwise Ruben will just, he can handle it. He would have felt that glove deep in his face on that one. Fine. Early wow. in, the, that someone's mouth guard out. Is that Harley's mouth guard? No, wrong corner. Oh, no, Ruben's. Yeah, no, it's Ruben's mouth guard. So I'm going to give a shout out to Kingpin mouth guards because if you've got a Kingpin, then it's not going to fall out. So there we go. Oh, he gave him a bit of a rest, but let's see if uh, Harley can knock it out again. But wow, no, Ruben's got that quality. He's just stepping back to be that counter puncher. That's that's the quality he's got, and he's got his own left hand coming through. Yep, this is awesome. Oh, Middleweight oh. action. Let's see who's stunned and flat-footed and just waiting to land. I think the head is starting to get snapped back, you know, from um, Ruben. Yeah, I mean, it may only be one round, but yeah, you, let's just see what happens. This this first pro fight of the night yeah and the thing with the pro fights you know it's always four or six rounds or yep. you know eight uh, eight rounds yeah four there solid is, rounds yeah man so there is room there for a draw but you don't want to draw you yeah know? no hasn't been any draws tonight so no. i'm going to predict that's not going to happen so let's well, see who because, digs deeper oh here we go both boys staying in the middle yep Still in that orthodox versus so southpaw you know. position. Let's see who lands their lead or lands their um, their, their straight shots. 
Ruben keeping his composure. Yeah, Ruben backing him up, so Ruben dominating the ring a bit more. Oh, Harley coming in with those strong hooks once again. Both both fighters will have to finish strong. Oh, coming in into the last few seconds, yep, I'll no, say. A few, a few. Oh, Harley finding success once again with those hooks. Yep, a few snapping punches coming through. But Trying to storm him back. Ruben answering back. Another minute to go. I thought there was a oh, 10 there seconds. We go. We got They're going, eh? To go. Just need to step back and close the distance. Just oh. find that range. Just find that pure power punching range. I think uh, range will be Ruben's game right now. Yeah. Be, that, know, that's the difference of getting that quality. He just got two. Ruben got two quick left hands in there. Wow. Speed and power. Wow. Harley, but they're, they're both throwing. Head down. Yeah. Swing. Workhorse. Oh, both Seth. boys. Both boys working it until the end of the fight. Taking each other to deep water and then leaving them there. Not too much power left in the tank. Not too much snap left in their punches. Oh, oh. What, what did you just say? What oh. did you just say? <laughs> I have no. Nice. No, that was awesome. They're still sneaking it through. Wow. May not be Final their power, but they're still quality punches. So, and it looks good Leave for the judges. Here it Who is. Needs, someone needs to. Oh. Wow. Wow. Last round. Awesome. That I round want, could change things. I want another one. That round could change things. I think we need a fifth round. Yeah. Can we do that? No? Okay. Um, I'm not going to say who who um, I thought won because, you know, I've been wrong before. But that was a close fight. That was a really close fight. Yeah. I still think Ruben did enough in the first three rounds. But yeah. at the end of the day, I like people finishing strong. So on the day, boxing wins. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. Good point there. Ruben going back to his um, corner. To uh, Peachy. You know, I wonder, um, yeah, I, I basically wonder what's going to happen now. I think judges are discussing the outcome right now as we speak. As we see, there's a lot of discussion going there in the um, Yeah, they, right they there. don't want to get it wrong. Yeah. I think he got given the paper, but then yeah. he gave it back. I don't okay. think he was happy with it. Something going on there. there Check the counting. Got, got the calculator out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're just giving them enough time to take their gloves off. Yeah. Air out those uh, gloves. Loosen up those fingers. It's probably been a long night for those boys, you know. Judge is definitely taking their time with the scorecard. Yeah. I think here we are. Nah, that was, are that decision. was solid. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you'd have to say that there was the fight of the night. Round of applause for these two fighters. That was awesome. After four rounds of professional middleweight boxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the competition 38-38, draw. Judge two scores it 40-36, and judge three scores it 39-37, for your winner by majority points decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Ruben Webster! Wow, very, very, uh, very, very close fight there we saw. Majority decision, Kendall. Yeah, so one uh, one judge called it a draw. The other two gave it to Ruben, Ruben. Webster, so. Yeah, great night yeah, for Yeah, 38-38. Ruben Webster on his way up. Another win for the uh, for the uh, middleweight professional on his way up the ranks. 9, 18, 27, 36. Oh, wow. Oh, one judge gave all, yeah, all, all, all four to Ruben. Over.